Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, it's Friday, it's 25 to seven. Safe to say that I'm done with day job work today, but I've been reflecting because this week has been a week of milestones for me. Number one was my eight year work anniversary since I started working for this company. Eight years ago, on October 13th, I had my first day, like my orientation day, back when I lived in Chicago. Fortunately, their offices were in Chicago and the suburbs and all that kind of stuff. So I just had to drive there. I'd have to fly and have to do any of that shit. And I remember going there and them going over everything and saying, and this is also in the interview, but they reiterated that it was going to take at least nine months to a year before I even began to feel comfortable with what I was doing. As far as all the product knowledge, going to all my dealers, having these meetings, keeping track of everything, doing this, doing that. They weren't kidding because pretty much for the first nine months, every day I felt like I was gonna get fired. There just was a shit ton of stuff to know and it really wasn't trained that well. And I just sort of like got thrown into the pot and I had to swim. And that's something that I'm good at. So I kind of dealt with it, but it really took its toll on me. New job moved all the way across the country from Chicago to Virginia Beach, I had to start flying here every weekend. So I would fly here on Tuesday, rent a car, drive as much of my territory as I could, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then Friday, I'd have to take a flight back to Chicago, drive back home, spend the weekend trying to get all my shit ready to move, and then do it all over again. We rolled into town November 14th. Keep in mind, this whole time, I'm flying back and forth, doing the job, packing, throwing shit away, trying to find a moving company, trying to do this, trying to do that, all while trying to find a place to live here while I'm doing all that. One of my friends, his wife was a realtor. She found us a place to live. She went and looked at it. She did everything. Basically, all I had to do was sign stuff, email it back, and I showed up and got the key. So that was a big help because if I had to do all that shit myself and I didn't have anybody here to help, probably would have never been able to do it. But I was also the fastest person that they'd ever had that went from higher date to in territory ever. And it paid off because I got here and I love it here. So been here for eight years. I've been at the job for eight years. Now, that team, I was there for a little over a year Things weren't working quite the way any of us wanted to, but there was another opportunity on another team. And after some discussion, I decided, okay, I'll do that. I had a couple of interviews on the phone with the guy that turned out to be my boss. And then he said he wanted me to meet with another manager. So I drove up to Fairfax, Virginia from Virginia Beach one night. He walked into the hotel room. We chatted for five minutes and he said, okay, you want the job? It's yours. Done. We shook hands, he put his stuff away, we walked a couple doors down, and we went and had a nice dinner. And that was the start of my time on this current team. So from that year and a half point on until today, I've been on that team. And it has been a whirlwind. This has been the longest job I've ever had. So it has become a significant portion of my life. I used to work seven days a week, 18 hours a day. I put on 50 pounds, I got pneumonia twice, your occasional uh, migraines, so on and so forth, some food poisoning in there, but that had nothing to do with the job. So I have been all over the place with my physical health, my mental health, my spiritual health, all that kind of stuff. I have been on the verge of quitting. I have literally called to tell my boss that I was done and he begged me, begged me to give him two more weeks that he promised it would calm down. And he was right and, he, and it did. The irony there is that that's the guy that I'm going to work for. So when I saw that he had a job position opening up, I was like, hey, <laughs> let's see what he's got. Today was my last day on the current team. Well, it's not current anymore, it's the end of the day. That was my old job. On Monday, I start my new job. It is weird for me to think that today was my last day on that team. I'm still in the company. I'm still doing pretty much the same thing. I'm just doing it in a different territory with a different boss, a different client, all new stuff to learn. And when it gets right down to it, I'm glad I stuck it out. Monday is the start of a new era. I'm pretty excited for it. There's a lot of good stuff coming. You know, I got the FX30 coming probably in like two weeks, hopefully. 
I've got the X-T4 with the two lenses that are gonna take me through and make me do all kinds of cool shit that I've been wanting to do forever. I still have all my Sony gear that I'm still gonna go out and do. Things are gonna change a little bit because I, well, it, it's getting shitty out, so there aren't gonna be any birds. I'm not gonna be doing too much birding. I'm gonna be doing a lot of street photography. I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff with that X-T4. And when I get the FX30, gonna be filming a lot of stuff. In addition to the new position is gonna take me to strange new worlds. My entire route is changing. All that Northern shit is gone. I'm going right back down to the South. I'm going to places that I've never been before and I'm really looking forward to it. That's what you have to look forward to. And I promise that I am going to stop to take pictures of the roses. So instead of just listening to me road rage in the Forerunner, I'm gonna take you out. We're gonna get some cool pics. We're gonna get some cool footage and I'm gonna give you some great videos. So if you've been sticking with me, thank you. If you're new, hang out. There's some cool shit coming. So that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.